just on Facebook, someone says, Harley, do a video on sleep, dude. You haven't fucking done a video on sleep. Do it. Do it now. Okay, here it is. Let's rock and roll. Sleep. It's like sleep, water, sugar. Those three things, sleep, water, sugar, they're your three fundamentals. Everything else is based upon. It's the concrete foundation that you build your house of health, fitness, abundance, adventure, whatever. The ability to get enough sleep, water, sugar is as critical in your enjoyment of life, is critical in your enjoyment of getting everything out of your day. Getting enough sleep, water, sugar is critical in having a greater participation in your daily reality. Without enough sleep, water, sugar, you are fucked. You are going to be limiting your abilities, limiting your potential. Let's focus on sleep. Last night I went to bed at 8 o'clock. Got up at 8 o'clock this morning, so 12 hours solid, horizontal. Just getting some deep REM sleep, some just some deep sleep there. So for why do we need to sleep? You know, people talk, talk about you don't need to sleep much. Sleep less, sleep less. It's like sleep less. Sleep less means depression. You know what I mean? Like, oh, look at these people going to bed at like 2 a.m. and getting up at you know, 6 a.m. or 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., whatever. Just going to bed at these whacked out hours and feeling whacked out when they wake up in the morning. Go to bed early. In nature, we would be living in equatorial areas. We can't live in the freezing climates without clothing or fire. We die. But you put the people in the equatorial areas, we don't need nothing. We don't need, you don't even need clothing. You just walk around the jungle eating fruit. We're designed to get the 12 hours sleep, just like our anthropoid primate buddies, the gorillas and the bonobos and the chimps. They're getting 12 hours night horizontal. They're getting 12 hours night rest. What are you doing? You're getting six hours, eight hours? It's not enough. You need to get as much rest as you can. Go to bed early. Go to bed early. That's just where it's at. If you want to have weight loss, if you want to achieve your weight loss goals, then you need to get to bed early. Why? Because everything works better. Your nerve energy is regenerated when you go to sleep. You have like fuel, your carbohydrates, your body fat, and then you have this is sleep, which is like your nerve energy. It's like the, remember Doug Graham had an article about the, the petrol in the car is the carbohydrates to keep you going, and the, the sleep, the nerve energy is your battery. If your battery's flat, you can't utilize the fuel. Your car isn't going anywhere. You are not going to be able to achieve your weight loss goals or fitness goals, etc. Weight loss and fitness, which go hand in hand. So sleep is critical. But it's not, you can't sell sleep to people. You can't sell sleep to people. A lot of people say, Harley, you, you sleep too much. Your diet's deficient. And, 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 and I'm overweight, and I can't fucking run a marathon as fast as you, and, and I can't uh, ride my bike up the mountains, and, and I can't do shit, but you sleep too much. <laughs> it's like, what? Do you want to be high energy? If you want to be high energy, without the caffeine, without the drugs, without the coke, whatever, the smack, whatever, if you want to be high energy without the crack owl, without the green tea and the mates and the caffeine, the adrenal exhausting stimulants, drugs, toxins, plant, alkaloid, poisons. If you want to be high energy without those things, get the early nights. If you want to have better skin, better weight loss, better body, better mentality, get the early nights. If you want to have better digestion, get the early nights. How does sleep affect digestion? Well, your organs, your pancreas and your kidney and liver and your, your muscles, they all need energy of rest at night time to regenerate their nerve energy. So to have better digestion, your organs need to be having a rest as well. You can't be having late nights and being deficient on nerve energy because you want to be on Facebook until midnight or whatever, or God knows what. You've got to get to bed early. Get up with Facebook. Don't go to bed with Facebook. Don't be all like, oh, someone's wrong on the internet and I'm not going to go to bed. You've got to get to bed early and wake up with the, the computer because the computer is very stimulating. The computer is almost like caffeine. It's very stimulating and... Uh, you don't want to have that when you go to bed. You don't want to get into passionate debates before you go to bed. Wake up with that. Wake up with that. Don't go to bed with it. <laughs> you want to be relaxing before you go to bed. Listen to some chill music, read a chill book, just laying down. And if you can't sleep, it doesn't really matter too much as long as you're getting the rest. But turn the lights off. Just lay there, relaxing. Shavasana pose. Lay there in Shavasana pose for 12 hours a night if you want to be a yogi. Get the rest. Get the rest doesn't matter if you can't sleep, just get the rest. And eventually your body will start to get more into the sleep. And eventually what will happen is you'll be eating a sufficient amount of carbohydrates. Your body can produce enough serotonin, which goes to melatonin, which means you can sleep deeper, you can sleep longer, you can regenerate better, recharge more. You wake up in the morning instead of 20% recharge, you're 
recharged. The analogy is it's like we're batteries and you put us on the charger overnight. And what happens when you put your battery on the charge and you take it off and the yellow light's still flashing? You put the batteries in your phone or whatever or your Walkman or whatever, radio control car, and you, you only get 40% life out of them. If you put your batteries on for the full extended 8, 10 hours, whatever, 12 hours ideally, then you're going to have more fuel, more nerve energy t next day to really crank it up. So, so many people are running on caffeine. I mean, the world's running on caffeine, really. If you pulled caffeine out of the world tomorrow, this whole world would crash. There's coffee, 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 tea, 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 tea. stimulants, stimulants, stimulants. It's just full on. It's just coffee culture, caffeine culture, tea culture, drugs, 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 drugs. Turn on the television and don't go to sleep. So when, if you want to get rid of the stimulant addiction, get to bed early. This sounds boring, Harley. I like being on Facebook late at night. I like going to the club and getting pissed and breathing in cigarette smoke and being a fucking idiot. I want to watch meaningless crap on TV and look at infomercials and buy shit I don't need to work in the job I really hate. I like doing that. If you want to do that, that's fine. But me, I don't know, man. I like having the high energy. I like having, this is my energy. This is not cup of coffee energy. This is not quad latte energy. This is not green tea energy or crack cow energy. This is natural fruit energy Lots of sleep, early nights, things like that, hydration. Natural, natural, natural. Anyone in the raw food movement says to you, you need to sleep less if you're a raw fooder, you know that they're either running on stimulants, wouldn't have a fucking clue, or three, sincere, but sincerely wrong. You need more sleep if you're a raw foodist. Why? Because you're going to be doing more. You're going to be helping the planet more. You're going to be contributing more. You're going to be giving more. You're going to be loving more. You're going to be experiencing more. You're going to be feeling more. You're going to have a greater participation in your daily reality, so you need more sleep. It's like if you want to race bikes, you've got to have a good quality bike. You can't have some piece of shit that's going to break and fail on you. You've got to have a highly tuned race machine that's good enough for the job. If you want to live your life purpose, you've got to get enough sleep. You need more sleep if you're living your life purpose. Why? Because you're doing more. You're having a higher output. So sleep is critical. Digestion, weight loss, fitness, muscle building, good skin. Things like that, bone strength, teeth health. Your body can't regenerate your teeth properly if you're not getting enough human growth hormone release and you're just sort of like waking up, you know, going to bed too late, things like that. You know, you can't do that. You can't expect good health and have late nights. I've got, I know a lot of people who focus just diet, 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 or diet and fitness, diet and fitness, and then you go, when did you type that email to me? You type that email to me at midnight, 11 o'clock at night. That's too late, man. Go to bed earlier. If you want better results. Hair loss, people getting hair loss, go to bed early. Human growth hormone, look it up. Testosterone, look it up. A lot of people go, oh, my testosterone's low. I'm having late nights and drinking lots of mato. And oh, maybe, oh, maybe it's the raw food diet or the vegan diet. You guys are going to bed too fucking late. Get to bed early and stop your fucking whining. Your brothers are going to bed too late. Go to bed, get some fucking sleep. Go to bed early. Let your body regenerate. Let your testicles regenerate enough testosterone every day by going to sleep. Your, tes your testicles need to go to bed early. Your hormones need to go to bed early to regenerate and restore levels properly. People get into bed late and expecting good hormone levels or hair regeneration or teeth regeneration or skin or muscle regeneration or whatever, and then they're not going to be prepared to put in the early nights, you ain't going to get shit. If you want to look younger, get to bed earlier. Get to bed earlier. <laughs> digestion, you know, digestion's key. Early nights, digestion makes all the difference. All the difference. Early nights, digestion, weight loss, early nights. There's not a thing I can think of that isn't enhanced by going to bed early. What's early? Early is normal. I mean, we have to say early, but really, early is normal. Like in society, it's like, we gotta go to bed early, it's too early, six o'clock's too early, eight o'clock's too early, you should be eating like. No, you shouldn't need any sleep at all if you're a fruitarian, like less sleep's better, like you don't need much sleep at all. So basically, you need as much sleep as you can get, you need as much rest as you can get. In cycling we have a saying, instead of standing, lean. Instead of leaning, sit. Instead of sitting, lay. Instead of resting, sleep. It's all about conserving your energy for when you need it in life. Look at animals. Look at dogs and cats and wild animals. They're not running around in circles just being stupid. They're conserving your energy for when they need it. So you don't waste your time on TV or you know, having Facebook discussions late at night to cut into your sleep. Get to bed early and get up and do your Facebook, whatever. Just get to bed early. Please, do it. Do it for your health. I don't care how healthy you're eating. If you're not getting to bed 6, 8 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock, getting those 12-hour, 10-hour sleeps a night, 
If you're not getting that, you are not coming close to achieving your potential. Not coming close. I don't care how pure you live or whatever. If you're not getting the early nights, you ain't getting shit done. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share this video with your friends who think that less sleep is healthy. Less sleep is healthy. So if you want to have better adrenal function, get to bed early. If you want to have high testosterone levels, get to bed early. If you want to have better hormonal levels as a female, get to bed early. If you want to have better cortisol levels, get to bed early. If you want to have a leaner, trimmer, fitter body, happier mood, get to bed early. If you want to overcome depression, get to bed early and eat enough carbohydrates. When we eat enough carbohydrates, going to bed early is easy because we have enough serotonin and we want to naturally go down with the sun. We naturally want to go down with the sun. So get enough carbohydrates in, 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day, minimum, and watch how much better your sleep goes. Watch how much your motivation to go to bed early increases and you recharge better. People who can't go to sleep early are normally carbohydrate deficient. They skip breakfast, eat a measly lunch, have a big dinner, not enough carbohydrates. The body's going, well, we're still awake and we need more carbohydrates. Where's the fucking carbohydrates? We're not going to bed till we get the carbohydrates. Go out in the fucking jungle and look for some bananas. So you're laying there just like, I can't sleep at all. I can't sleep at all. This thing doesn't work at all. Blah, 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 blah. So get enough carbohydrates. Start with the day with a massive breakfast. Eat the, the breakfast should be your biggest meal of the day and smashing the lunch and smashing the dinner. But ideally, you want to have the big breakfast. That should be your fucking fundamental for the day. Big breakfast. Go and do your morning session, come back, smashing that breakfast, have your litre of water, then smashing that breakfast. Carbohydrate rich, low fat, low protein, heavy on the fruit, fucking smash down the bananas, smash it in, smash in the data aid. Carbohydrate rich breakfast for the win. Go to bed early, get up early, and smash the daylight watermelon. Thanks for watching.